Hello and welcome to Crescenta Valley High School, a place of great pride, tradition, and honor as home of the Falcons. A place where we want each of you to accomplish all that you can, athletically, artistically, and academically in accordance with your talents and interests. And we want you to also develop your character. Enjoy this short video. Turn and face your group members. I need you to come up with three questions that you would like to ask the author about this chapter. Go ahead. Okay, guys, what do you think? Well, maybe why did the author leave the boy in the woods? I mean, why would he have gone there in the first place? Okay, so Moran, what do you think? Come on, moron, what do you got to say? Okay, how about what's the significance of the tree at the beginning of the chapter? How about why is this kid such a moron? Emily, so I can give a ride home after practice. That'd be awesome! Thanks! Yeah, make sure to send me a Snapchat of you guys making out. What? <laughs> So now it's your turn. I need you to turn and face your group members. Uh, come up with three questions about this chapter that you want to ask the author before we leave. Okay, so Orlik is new to the class, so you're going to need to catch him up on what's going on in the book so far, but I think for what we just read in the chapter, you should be able to have some questions that you can contribute. Yeah. Okay, guys, what do you want to start with? Maybe why did the author leave the boy in the woods? I mean, why would he have gone there in the first place? Okay, what do you think, Moran? Come on, Moran, what do you got to say? Wait, isn't your name Moran? No, it's Moron, because he doesn't do shit, ever. Maybe he doesn't do anything because you call him Moron. No, we're bros. Right, Moron? Look, if you were bros, you'd call him by his real name. Look, dick. Why don't you keep your mouth shut and mind your own business? My name is Orlik, and why don't you stop being a dick? I don't want to talk about a mother What is going on over here? This guy just called me a dick. Michael, I think you need to go up to the office. Why should I go to the office when this mother started it? Go to the office now. Okay, what happened? Michael was just joking around, and all Orlik did was ask him to say Moran's name. He was calling him a moron, and where I come from, that's not cool. So I told him to stop and call him by his real name. So now it's your turn. I need you to turn and face your group members. Uh, come up with three questions about this chapter that you want to ask the author before we leave. Okay, so Orlik is new to the class, so you're going to need to catch him up on what's going on in the book so far, but I think for what we just read in the chapter, you should be able to have some questions that you can contribute. Yeah. Okay, guys, what do you want to start with? Maybe why did the author leave the boy in the woods? I mean, why would he have gone there in the first place? Okay, what do you think, Moran? Come on, Moran, what do you got to say? Wait, isn't your name Moran? No, it's Moron, because he doesn't do sh ever. Hey, at least Moran takes notes for us and he does his homework. What are you talking about? I'm always doing work. Sure. Look, if you want to stay in this group, then you gotta start calling Moran. But Moron and I are bros. No, you're not. If you were, he'd say something to defend you. What? Me and him play basketball every day. 
Okay, seriously, stop. We gotta get work done. Just call him or Rand, or we're gonna kick you out of the group. Okay, what about Moroni? Miss Brown! Okay, 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 fine, fine. Moran. Can I help you? No, we're good. I'm just... Look, look, I'm writing down good questions. That's great, Michael. Okay, what other questions do we have? Maybe we could write, what does he mean by voracious? Okay, one more. Well, what about the candlestick? Why was that in the basket? Okay. Sure. Look, if you want to stay in this group, then you gotta start calling more Ran. Hey, at least Moran takes notes for us and he does his homework. Okay, seriously, stop. We gotta get work done. Just call more Ran or we're gonna kick you out of the group. Miss Brown! Something I want you to consider is the power that you have as a bystander, as an average person here on our campus, to create the culture that we all want, one of kindness, one we're all happy to come to each day. Each of you have a great amount of impact and power in the way you interact with people each day, and my expectation is that you do so with kindness. Have a great day, Falcons.